Most people associate vultures with death, but for ornithologist Goran Susic, the vultures of Kress Island in Croatia are his passion. If you hear that sound, it's a juvenile uh, crying for food. After studying them for 30 years, he came to realize that if no one acted, human influence on these birds' habitats could prove fatal. For instance, the proximity of tourist boats to the vultures' cliff face nests frightens young chicks into flying before they know how to. They are not able to fly and they are wet and so on. So they stay here and just wait and sometimes they would die if we would not come and help them, rescue them. 15 to 20 birds are rescued each year and brought to this huge aviary. For over a year, they're taught by four adult vultures the skills they should have learned. We want them to train their muscles to learn to fly and to learn how to establish dominance on a hierarchy during feeding on a carcass, which is necessary for their survival later in the nature. Thanks to this centre, the number of adult vultures has increased from 50 to 160 in the past 30 years. But their survival is once again threatened by human activity. Hunters have introduced new predators to the island for sport, such as wild boar and deer. These species have invaded land traditionally dominated by sheep, reducing their population by two-thirds. This also means there are fewer carcasses for the vultures to feed on. It's illegal, internationally illegal and nationally illegal to import species which not belong to the area, which are not native to one area, because they destroy ecosystem, they destroy the uh, biodiversity, they destroy tropical uh, chain and tropical pyramid. Goran has been fighting unsuccessfully for years for this area to become an official nature reserve, closed to hunters and tourists, and for the birds to be designated a protected species. However, he's confident he'll win the battle soon on behalf of his feathered friends when Croatia joins the European Union.